morning my fellow curl friends so i'm over the straight hair and it is time for it to go so i decided why not make a video about my perfect wash and go so basically i'm taking down the hairstyle from the night before and i'm trying to show off my length before i wash it but i kind of did a terrible job at that but you get the point so just stay tuned and watch the rest of the video <music> So I just finished taking down all my hair and I am currently jamming now to International Players Anthem by UGK. So I'm just going to part my hair and I did notice I got a little dandruff so it's definitely time for me to wash it. But right now I'm just going to just part it into a couple sections and just detangle it. <music> So I just finished detangling my hair and I'm about to go in with a spray bottle and Shea Moisture's Frizz Defense hair mask. And it smells good. So that's a plus. But I'm just going to take the spray bottle and spray water all over my hair to make it a little damp. And then I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture and make sure I saturate every end. <music> So I just finished applying the deep conditioner and now I'm just going to go in and apply a little bit more to make sure each and every strand is covered. I want to make sure my kitchen is covered, my edges are covered, everything. And although I did detangle, I still had a little bit shedding but not a lot. Now that I have the deep conditioner right through, I'm going to apply the ORS Moi Oil. I don't know how to pronounce it but I'm just going to apply that all over my hair basically to seal the cuticles the oil is fully saturated in my hair now i'm just going to secure it with a hair tie apply a shower cap and wait an hour So it's been over a little bit of an hour and to keep myself busy, I just catched up on some shows and did my homework. I'm now going to take down this hair tie and detangle my hair with a wide tube comb. You can find a wide tube comb at your local beauty supply. So I just got out of the shower and these were the products that I decided to use. I decided to go in first with the Head & Shoulders Clinical Strength Shampoo to treat my seborrheic dermatitis. And then afterwards I decided to go in with the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner. And then afterwards I went in and detangled with the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. So originally I was going to do a talk through but last minute I decided to do a voiceover which is why my lips are moving. But currently I'm taking down the twist that I have created for myself in the shower to help with detangling. And since they are kind of messy I decided to basically just redo them. And I'm just basically finger combing a little bit and then I'm going to part my hair and just detangle all over again. <music> So I'm going to start off with a section in the back and I'm going to re-wet it with a spray bottle. After that, I'm going to apply another conditioner. And actually, it's just a conditioner. It's not even a leave-in. It's from the Orgenix line. It's the Argan Oil Morocco, the blue bottle one. So I'm going to go with that and apply it to the section in which I'm going to do to all my sections. And I'm just going to use it as a leave-in to help with detangling and just to add that extra moisture back into my hair. Once after saturating all that conditioner into my hair, I am going to section my hair off 
again, but into a tiny portion, just so it's easier to apply the Eco Styler Crystal Gel. Now that's the product I am going to go in with to define my curls. This will help me get that perfect wash and go, that perfect de defined curl that I am looking for. So currently I am performing the shingling method to each and every strand on my head. Usually I don't try to go for this defined of a look, but today I wanted the perfect wash and go. So I am going with the shingling method to make sure that each and every strand is covered with gel. So when it does shrink up, it will shrink up into my curl pattern. So I'm basically done performing the shingling method all over my hair, but I did notice there was a couple spots that didn't have quite the definition that I want them to, so you can see me going in and redoing them. And I am going to get up close so you can see better of how I am performing this shingling method through my hair to get that perfect defined look. Some people like to twirl it around their finger, but I find this method works quicker and better for me. So I'm going to show a quick little zoom in of how I'm doing it with one hand. So basically you truly understand the method of how to perform the shingling method or how I perform it. This will help me, you know, fight, frizz, have that perfect defined look. And although it, it will be crunchy in the morning, I can just go in with some oil and it will help soften it and have that perfect look. Hey okay, y'all, so I'm about to do a quick... Um show you how I do my night to noon <laughs> so quickly I want to show y'all how I preserve my curls and I find the best way for me is to do the pineapple method so I'm going to take a hair tie and I am going to throw my head down and wrap it all around my hair and I feel like this helps preserve although you know the back will probably get scrunched up but I find that it helps a lot and I noticed that after doing a shingling method I had that one curl that was popping y'all <laughs> So after applying the silk scarf, I decided that I didn't want to sleep on it like that. I'm going to take a big silk bonnet and cover up the front of my curls and this makes sure that they're preserved as well. That they don't, you know, happen to slip on the pillow and get all frizzed up. So this will help make sure I get that absolute coverage to get that perfect wash and go and you can find a silk scarf and a big bonnet like this at your local beauty supply and this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and see you in the next one